today I'm going to be doing a follow-up review. I've never done one of these, but I really felt like it was necessary um, to do this follow-up review for this product. Um, I originally reviewed the Luxie Hair Extensions back in January, I believe, and I'm going to provide the link for that. So if you click right around this area, um, it should bring you to um, my original Luxie hair extension video, and it will open in a different window. So if you wanted to pause this and go watch that one first, you can totally do that. Um, I'll also provide the link to it at the end of the video and down below. But I wanted to do this follow-up review because I have had so many questions about some of the things I said in the original review about these Luxie hair extensions. For example, a lot of people were wondering um, about the shedding, has it gotten any better, um, have I been able to reinforce them properly so that they don't shed or that the shedding is minimized. I also got um, a bunch of questions about what other extension brands I've used, tried, loved. And on top of those questions, I've also gotten to know a little bit more about the customer service over at Lexi, and so I really wanted to talk about that in this video because I don't want um, any of you guys sitting there to fall into the same trap that I did. So I'll quickly do an overview of what I talked about in the last video if you don't want to go and watch that one. I ordered my Luxie hair extensions. This is not the box they came in. This is a Victoria's Secret box, but they're sitting in here. I ordered my Luxie hair extensions back um, just before Christmas, the week before Christmas. And I ordered them because I love the Luxie sisters. I follow them in YouTube. I've been following them forever. They're from Toronto, which is where I'm from as well. They just seem so sweet and so friendly. And they talk about their extension company and how great their extensions are. And on top of that, they wear their extensions in their video and the extensions look beautiful. So I've been wearing extensions now since about high school and um, on and off obviously, and they've always been clip-ins, but I was really in the market for new extensions and immediately thought about the Luxie Sisters because I'd been watching them for so long and I really wanted to try out their product. And I trusted them. They talk about their product so positively and I really trusted them because they're just like me making videos on YouTube. So I bought their extensions. Um, these are them here. They are the 120 gram set in the color off black. And I originally was really frustrated with them for a few reasons, but two main ones were the shedding. And the other one was the fact that when I originally heat styled them, and it says um, on the packaging and in their videos and stuff like that, that you can wear them and style them right out of the package. So when I first got them, I straightened them and um, plastic from I guess the coating that they put on the extensions melted off onto my iron. So those were the biggest complaints I had about the extensions and I guess I'll kind of go into a little bit more detail about the customer service that I got immediately from Luxie. Um, I talked about in my last video that I actually emailed the company when the extensions melted onto my straightener and I was really frustrated and I sent some pictures along with the email. I sent to customer service. And they emailed me back, and what I didn't talk about in the last video is that they were really apologetic. They told me that it was probably just a coating that they put on the extensions, that once they washed them, that shouldn't happen anymore, and that um, I was able to return them if I wanted to, even though they never do returns on open product, because I had had such a disappointing experience that they were willing to take the extensions back. Now, because they were so nice about it and they told me that it should stop after one wash and because all of the reviews I had read or seen were so positive, I figured that it was probably a temporary issue and that it would go away. And I really didn't want to send my Luxies back. I was going to an event and I really wanted to wear them. So I emailed the woman back and I said, listen, if you're telling me that the problem will go away, then I have no problem in keeping the extensions. Um, I really just wanted to get to the bottom of what was going on. And I got a response right away from the woman and she was very sweet and she told me that she would reimburse me $20. So these extensions cost me $120 um, that included shipping and taxes and she told me she would reimburse me $20. So I thought that their customer service was wonderful and about a month later I recorded the video for you guys and told you how much I loved customer service. Um, and I really did at the time, I thought I really enjoyed customer service, but um, a few weeks went by and I realized that on my statement 
my PayPal statement, I had never gotten a refund for $20 from Luxie. I paid with my PayPal and they told me that's where it would go, the money, and I never got it. On top of that, the shedding did not stop. It just got worse and worse and worse. I was actually with my really good friends, one of which owns a set of Luxie extensions herself and she doesn't have as bad of a shedding issue as mine. And I was showing them how they shed and they were disgusted. My entire bathroom sink was full with hair just from me like lightly brushing through the hair and finger combing through the hair. It was full with extension hair that was just shedding off and that was just styling them and they don't look good in the hair anymore and so not only did I not get my $20 back but I also had those issues um, with the shedding. So I emailed the company and I told them how disappointed I was, how I can't wear these extensions because it's embarrassing to go out and have your extensions and your hair shed. I mean, you don't want clumps of hair falling out when you're out and about. And it would happen if I would touch my hair, hair would fall out and it was so embarrassing. So I couldn't really wear them out anymore. I don't wear the extensions anymore. And um, in the original video, I also talked about how I tried reinforcing them. And I think that worked for a little bit, but it it hasn't worked anymore. It still sheds so badly. So even if it did help, it didn't help enough to really make a big difference. So I emailed the company. I sent them pictures of what it was like when the hair shed and I never got a response from them. About a month later, I emailed them again. I said, listen, maybe you didn't get that email. Here is my problem. Here is the email I had originally sent to you. On top of that, I never got my $20 refund that you guys promised me. Here was the original email from the customer service representative that promised me that $20. What's going on? Never got an email back from them. I sent them one more email with every other email I'd ever sent to them. Again, saying that I was having these issues and that I really just wanted to get to the bottom of it and I never got anything back and that was over a month ago. So I am very disappointed with customer service quite clearly when there's a big issue with one of their customers. They don't even care enough to respond. Um, I even tweeted about the issue and the Luxie sisters tweeted back at me saying to contact customer service and when I did, no one answered. So it seems like such a horrible setup that they have going on. They promise things that they don't actually fulfill and their extensions are really not the best quality. So I don't want to get too negative. I don't want to be mean spirited and I don't want to dwell on the extensions because we all buy products that maybe we regret. But I have to tell you that this is one of the biggest regrets, if not the biggest regret um, of something I've ever purchased. And I 100% advise you guys not to buy with them. Um, I have nothing against the Lexi sisters personally. I don't know how involved they are with the company or what say they had in the $20 or with the shedding or whatever. So I have nothing against them as YouTubers. But um, as far as the company goes and the extensions, the quality of the extensions as well as the quality of customer service, I think that they both are horrible and I will never ever go with that company again and completely advise you guys not to go with them. Even if you end up getting a good set, you're taking a huge gamble. My good friend, as I said, she has a set of them. She got them at the exact same time as I did. Her set turned out fine but she could have had the same issue with me and now I'm stuck and I spent $120 and have nothing to show for it. I cannot wear these extensions. The only reason why I still have them is so I could make this uh, follow-up video. So um, that was all I wanted to say about the company. As far as the question about um, what other companies I've liked, to be honest, I haven't really bought from big companies before. When I bought my first set, they were just from a booth at the mall and my second set was from a um, beauty supply outlet online. My third set was actually weave-in hair that I bought for only $10. It was 100% Remy hair. I dyed it my color. I cut all the wefts specifically to my head shape and I sewed on clips I bought on eBay. It was the cheapest set I'd ever gotten and it was the best set. They looked the most natural because they were completely suited to me. So those are the best set, but I can't tell you that it's a company. They were just weave-in hair I got for really cheap. 
cheap. And then my last set were these. So I can't really um, suggest a big company for you that I really, really like. But if any of you have suggestions that you want to give to me, please let me know in the comment section down below. And if you have any more questions, I'd love to answer them. My camera right now is telling me I only have one minute left on the memory card, so I'm going to wrap this up. But I wanted this to be just a really quick follow-up, letting you know how disappointed I was with the customer service. Um, oh, more than disappointed, really kind of horrified by their customer service. I don't even really think that they can consider it customer service, as well as horrified by the quality of these extensions and 100% suggest for you guys not to go with the company. Um, and I don't really know what company to go with, but I'll be buying new extensions soon. I'm in the market, so let me know if you have any suggestions. I think that's it, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.